Higher Higher Knitters. This marks the start of a new playlist on Higher Higher Europe, Create to Donate. This is going to be a mix of videos of projects that I like to do where you can donate them at the end to a charity in need. So, today I am going to be showing you one of the designs I like to knit towards the big knit. If you don't know what this is, it is a campaign run by Innocent Smoothies where knitters send in knitted hats like this that will go on their smoothie bottles. They've just come out recently. I got these two this morning with my morning smoothie. And every bottle of smoothie bought with one of these on, 25p goes to Age UK. So far, they have raised two and a half million pounds and they are such quick and easy projects. You can use leftover yarn, you can spend as much time being as creative. There are some amazing patterns on their website that are worth a look at. Or you can do something simple like I'm going to with this little number. Let's get started. The first hat I'm going to make is using a yarn that I bought in for some Christmas projects you'll see coming up in video shortly. Um, and it is this gorgeous number. Have to do a quick little shout out to Dina's Home of Crafts. Uh, she is one of our retailers. Please go have a look at her shop. I'll put a link below to her store so you can go have a look-see. This one is Edmonton and it's a gorgeous mix of greens and blues and blacks and I love this at the moment. I am going to use long tail cast on, maybe not that much. Um, usually most people knit with chunkier yarns or whatever yarn they have lying about um, so you don't need to cast on as many as I'm going to. I've made that way too long. <laughs> so for this one, because it is a double knit but it's a finer double knit, I'm going to cast on 32 stitches. So if you've not seen this before, put my slip knot on, round the thumb, down the thumb, in between the thumb and the needle, and loop that one over. Going round. If you don't know how to do this, I will link one of my previous videos in here on how to cast on. Um, probably easier than me throwing down to show you every one of these. Once you get this cast on method, it, it's good. It's so quick, you can do this without looking at the time. Lovely method. Um, I am using a circular needle I've been using for socks lately. Um, I just like knitting on circular needles at the moment. I can't really put it any other way. just find it easier holding my project as I go. Also, for such tiny projects, I hate using long straight needles. We do do a straight set, but bit too long for this lovely little hat I will produce. How many am I up to? This is knitted flat and then sewn up. So I'm going to make it like a little beanie hat. To start my hat it's going to have a rib for the first few rows. So it's four rows of knit to pearl two. If you are unsure about anything I'm using, if you are brand new to knitting, I will put links to the side of this of previous videos I've done on basics of knitting, so you can see how I'm making this, because these are really simple projects with just a little bit of basic knowledge. They are good projects for beginner knitters. So as you come to the end, once you reach the end, you want to flip it over and treat it as if you're knitting on straight, so we're just knitting this flat now. So, second row, knit two, pull two. And this will create that nice ribbed start to the hat. Okay, and there you 
we've got the rib stitch start. Let's get my stats, makes it a bit sketchy. On this point, it's stocking stitch for 16 rows. So knit one row, purl the next row. To make it neater and easier to sew up, I tend to slip the first stitch. So pick that up, slip it onto the needle without knitting into it and then knit into your second one. So second row, you want to purl and as before slip the first stitch. So slip that over and purl into your next stitch. Once you've done 16 rows of stocking stitch, you'll have a little patch like this, ribbing at the bottom and just smooth at the top, and this really shows off this yarn. You then want to do your next row knitting, but knit two together all along, and then flip it and pull two together all along. This will reduce your stitches ready to sew it up to finish it. Once you've reduced your stitches, you should be left with eight. From here, you want to take some scissors and cut, probably say about a foot long tail, a bit more if you want to. Cut that. And then you want to grab a darning needle sew through your remaining stitches and bunch them together. Bunch them together and that gets the peak of the hat together or the top of the hat together. And then you want to do a blanket stitch down here, which I will do very quickly. Make sure the top is tight, if not you'll have a little hole up there. Now you can do this a lot tidier, but I'm just doing it as quickly. Uh, once you weave in your ends, it will look a lot neater. But there is one hat. And great thing about doing the rib stitch, you can flip it over so it looks like that. You can add a bobble onto it, or just as is. That one's ready for donating. And there you have it. This, this took about half an hour, 40 minutes to make. Like I said before, it's a good beginner project for beginner knitters, or it's a good little mindless project. You can produce tons of them quickly and they're all going to a good place. You can use leftover yarn, or you can use some really nice yarn like this. All goes to a good cause. So please let me know if you make any. Let me know, let me see what you make with it. If you like this pattern, go ahead and use it. If you've got any good ones you want to show me, send them all over. So yeah, that's it for today really. So until next time, happy knitting. <laughs>